So, let's just start off by just marching on the spot, get his arms going, give him a little shake out. In, out, and out, shake it, whip out, and out. That's even better, I haven't been as good norm today, is it? That's the thing, a little bit rainy, but hey, let's make the most out of a bad situation. As long as we get a workout in today, then we've done something good with our day. Right, let's just start off pushing and pulling and forwards backwards. And we'll start with a nice backward shoulder rolls. Keep those feet moving. Right, big circle with the arms. Good, then we go forward circles, the shoulders. Let's do the hip circles, so feet shoulder apart, and we'll start with just doing the hip circles. Short, sharp workouts because basically you just put everything on the back. It doesn't take up too much of your time. There's no fanning around. But remember, this combined with doing your daily steps is really, really important. Right, let's open up the gate. So, hip circles. You've got to make sure that you're doing your daily steps. Just doing a 10 minute workout, right, isn't enough. You're not going to get great results from doing a 10 minute workout if you sit on your arse all day. Right, so we've opened up the gate, now we're going to do is close the gate. That's simple, right, like first close that gate. Try and loosen off that groin, get those hips loosened off. Great, right, right leg, let's bring it up towards us. Big hug, hey, hey, your balance okay. Change legs. He's having a man today. Good, right, squat and swing. So, feet shoulder apart, and all you're gonna do is go for your squat for me, and as you come up, you're just gonna swing. Squat, so we're going to do is go nice and slow and then sit in that squat. Try and keep his heels down, and all you're going to do is shove your weight onto one leg. Try and make sure you're pushing that knee forwards and that knee is in line with the toes. Keep that chest up. Arms going, let's get the knees going. Let's drive the arms, pump up a little bit more. Three, two, one. Relax down. Right, so we're doing four rounds today. Let's get a window open. Woo! Right, four rounds today. Nice and simple. We'll do commandos first. Then we take through commandos. You're on your feet in the press up position. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. Or you can do exactly the same on your knees. From there, what we'll then do is we're going to have two options. You've either got lunges, or what you've got is jump lunges. You jump between each one. Both from hard work. After that, we're down on the ground again, we're doing more arms. We're doing press ups with a team, okay? So you go for a press up, and then you come up, press up, and then up. All right, again, you can do that with your knees, and up, and twist. Nice simple. You can even do that against the wall if you need to. Followed by that, we've got high knee running, where we're driving our knees really high, 
And then to finish off with, we've got an ab exercise. The ab exercise is alternate V-sits. Bit weird with coordination, so don't want to hand behind you, just do your V-sits. Or you do one leg at a time. And if you don't want to take one level further, up fully with one leg at a time. We'll go around that routine. Now I'll complete one round. And then we'll do four rounds of it. Right. So, commandos. Once the time is set, we're going to go three, two, one. Let's go. Commandos. So remember, if your hips are swinging about like mad, basically you need to keep them still. So what you can do is take your legs wider apart. That will improve your core stability. If your hips are nice and still, you want to make the exercise harder. Bring your feet closer together. There we go. Right, exercise number one complete. We'll take exercise number two. Jump lunges in three, two, one, let's go. Five 
five more seconds. Last more rep. There we go. Fist on that. Three, two, one, let's go. Rotations. So another press up. Not. Three, two, one. Let's go. In terms of working the core, this has been research has been a really effective exercise. So ditch your crunch, and do your team press ups. Right, Heidi, Heidi running, three, two, one, and let's go. rotation. Three, two, one, let's go.
There we go. High knee running. Exercise number four. Let's go. Keep the arms driving. Doing great back home. Tough workout. Whew. Right, B sit time. Three, two, one, let's go. As always, you can't stress enough. If your neck or your lower back starts hurting or your knees are hurting, don't do jump lunges, do squats. Don't do this exercise if your lower back's hurting. Opt for a basic crunch instead. Or a plank variation. Right, that is round three complete. We got one, one more round left. By now. The sweat should be coming off your head. Right, the heart should be doing that. And you should be getting ready for that fourth round. Get in the mindset, okay? Get in that zone. And flow, you've got two and a half minutes left. And then we're stretching, and then the rest of the evening is yours. We'll get it done by seven o'clock. Right, three, two, I'm going with the left arm this time. Back on the mat, three, two, one, let's go. There we go. Right, my favourite little jump lunges. Get them in there, get them done. Three, two, one, let's go. Good. We've got five more seconds. 
seconds. Try another three reps in. One more rep. Woo! What a workout that was. Tell you now, if you did that, fair play to you. That was intense, it was good. I'm going to on the floor, stretch off. Nice full body stretch. Point the toes down. Nice big deep breath out. Left leg down straight. Change legs. Let's do a bum stretch. Take the right leg over the left knee. Please. Change legs. Let's turn over the left hand side. Good for a nice front of the thigh stretch. I'll tell you now, if you work at maximum pace for that right, and you manage the full workouts, the full routine, sorry, and you don't feel knackered afterwards, you didn't push yourself hard enough. You need to up, up the ante. If you're doing short, intense workouts, you need to up the ba -ba boom, okay? More press ups, more commandos. If you can, jump lunge, jump lunge if you can. Dumbbell weighted lunges would be good. And if you still find it too easy, increase the rounds, okay? Could you, after a few more weeks, if you enjoy this routine, not enjoy this routine, do this routine, could you do five rounds of it? Could you do six rounds, okay? Getting that routine of just increasing the rounds. Oh. Right, let's stand up. Let's go chest stretch. Let's go back stretch. And then when you're ready, let's go some nice big deep breaths in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Last one. And a nice deep breath out. Give yourself a round of applause there. Fair play to you. If you manage that workout, that was an absolute toughie that was.